Are you a healthcare professional and you're interested in learning a little bit more about the healthcare consulting industry? Well, if so, tune in because in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what exactly a healthcare consultant is and what is our scope of practice. What is a healthcare consultant and what is the scope of practice of a healthcare consultant? Well, if you've ever asked yourself that question before, you are 100% in the right place. If you're meeting me for the very first time, my name is Elle. I'm an independent healthcare consultant with a background in nursing leadership. And as you explore the topic of healthcare consulting, you will find that there are very many paths that we can potentially take as healthcare consultants. But to get you started, I want to make sure that you have a full understanding of the role and scope of practice of a healthcare consultant to see if this is a good fit for you as a career or even a business move. You know, healthcare is going through a very interesting time right now. We're actually rebuilding the healthcare system here in the States post pandemic. And what that means is a lot of leaders need a lot of support. You'll find that many organizations have laid off many of their leaders, which means that their leadership team isn't as immense as it was pre-pandemic. That means two very important things. Number one, there's not a lot of leaders who are subject matter experts on a leadership team who can tackle their responsibilities in their role as healthcare leaders and be able to be subject matter experts at the same time. So what you'll find is there are very many leadership teams that are overwhelmed with their workload and with responsibilities in which we as consultants can take over for them. So if you've never heard of consulting before, let me provide you with a formal definition. A healthcare consultant is an expert. In fact, we are the subject matter expert of a particular topic or specialty. The great thing about healthcare consulting is you can specialize in whatever topic or specialty that you are the subject matter expert in. So for example, maybe you spent most of your career in risk management or quality or patient experience or operations or even leadership. Healthcare leaders need lots of support in various topics and in various specialties. Our primary objective as healthcare consultants is to partner with organizations who have challenges or needs that they cannot solve on their own. So we as healthcare consultants partner with those organizations to help them solve challenging and complex situations that their leadership team may not be experienced or have the resources to be able to solve. So at the end of the day, we are problem solvers as well as experts. So now that you have the formal definition of a healthcare consultant, I want you to take some time and really think about your years of experience, your years of education, and what are you the subject matter expert in? And don't downplay your experience. Your experience has a lot to do with your subject matter of expertise. Typically when an organization reaches out to me, the very next step is to set up a discovery call. I wanna make sure that I have a very clear understanding of what the current challenge is that that organization is facing and what they've tried before that didn't work. I also wanna understand what result they are expecting and exactly when they desire this result to take place. On that discovery call, I typically will share with those stakeholders on that call exactly how I can help their organization. Sometimes I'll have to customize the solutions that I provide to them, and that's okay. You'll find that every organization is a little bit different in what they need. As you begin client work, it's important for you to really understand where your client is and how that pain is impacting their organization. You'll be taking your client through a step-by-step -step process to get them to an end 
result. The solutions that you introduce to your clientele should be proven, which is why anyone who's interested in going into consulting, especially if you're going into independent consulting, should have a framework around the work that you introduce to your clientele. So not only do I have a consulting framework that I introduce, I may have to customize that framework to certain clients, but not only do you have a framework, you also are extremely knowledgeable about project management. Because in order for me to be able to introduce my framework to solve a problem for a client, I have to break that project down into phases. There's typically four phases that I take my clients through. The very first phase of my consulting work is an assessment. Although I've had a conversation with those leaders on the discovery call and we've talked about the pains and how it's impacting that organization, nine times out of 10, all the information is not going to be shared on that discovery call. So it's my responsibility as the subject matter expert on service recovery to come in and do a very thorough assessment of the current state of the organization. Depending on what topic or what area specialty that you will be moving forth in as a healthcare consultant, that assessment may look like a mock survey, surveying employees or leaders, or whatever you need to do to capture raw data. The second phase of my consulting work is really analyzing that data. Remember I mentioned to you in the beginning of the video that every client is a little bit different. You may have set solutions in place to be able to solve a particular problem, but organizations will vary by size, they'll vary by need, and they'll vary by complexity of that challenge that you're dealing with. So really taking the time to analyze that data will really help me understand if I need to customize the framework that I have in place in order to get the achieved result that that client desires. The third phase of my consulting work is introducing recommendations. I've had the opportunity to analyze all of the data, come up with solutions to solve the problems, and now it's my opportunity to share with that organization what's going to work for them moving forth. In the post-pandemic phase, you will find that most organizations don't have the leadership team to carry out your recommendations. This is where my work continues, and if you are an independent healthcare consultant, this is where you will make the most money as a healthcare consultant. The very next phase of my consulting work is actually implementing on behalf of my clientele. Now, this is something that you'll find all consultants don't do, and it's up to you if you're an independent healthcare consultant, if you desire to offer implementation support. This is a really great way to support your clientele who don't have a very large leadership team and don't have the capacity to implement the solutions that you share with them. Implementation support will also vary on your client's needs and it'll vary on exactly what are you going to be implementing. Implementing support can be writing policies and procedures, writing an actual action plan, plan or a corrective action plan and helping them follow through on what that looks like. It can look like training a team. There's so many ways in which you can support your clientele by implementing the solutions that you suggested for them to introduce to their organization. I hope you found that information helpful and you have a little bit more clarity around what healthcare consulting is and exactly what we do for our clientele. You know, when you take some time to think about all the things that you do in your current role as a healthcare leader or healthcare professional, I can almost guarantee you that you're already consulting. If you are solving problems on the job as a physician, as a nurse, as a respiratory therapist, as a healthcare administrator, as a physician's assistant, you are a consultant. I want you to step into your value and I want you to own your expertise. You are so valuable. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about healthcare consulting, every single month, I host a live masterclass called Healthcare Leader to Healthcare Consultant. And I help you really understand how you can take all of your years and experience as a healthcare leader and healthcare professional and translate that into a healthcare consulting firm. I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.